Denver from House of Eclectic here. Today I'm going to be talking about um, things you can do to your child's room to kind of help it stay clean. Basically just things you can do to help keep from losing your mind over your kid's room. Because um, I know I've done that often. So give me just a minute to get a couple of shares in and then we will get started. I'm really excited about the stuff I have to show you today. These are, um, one thing is new to me that I'm going to un kind of unbox while we're together. And the other are things that we've been using forever and they've really worked for us. So, I'm super excited. I did not clean my kids' room because I wanted you guys to see real life. I wanted you to see, like, so, um, if you look behind me, you can see that their beds are super, super messy. This has, like, been the biggest frustration for me. So, this is something we're going to fix today. Um, and then if you look around, the rest of the room is actually pretty neat. And I think a lot of that has to do with some of the other solutions we've been using. And I will show you those, too. So when you hop on, let me know where you're hopping on from. I am in the Salt Lake City area of Utah today. Well, not exactly, but I live in a teeny, teeny, teeny tiny town that nobody knows where it exi that it exists. So I always just say Salt Lake City because most people know where that is. My town is so little, it doesn't even have a grocery store. But my kids always like to point out that it has a donut stop. And so we have everything we need. Because apparently donuts are life, guys. Donuts are life. Okay. Sorry, my computer is being super, super slow. But if you look on the ground around me, you can kind of see that they're... Um, hi, Christy. Good to have you with us today. You can kind of see that their room is honestly usually very clean, except their beds are the worst. Like, so we're going to fix that today. I'm, like, unbelievably excited. Okay. Share... So when you hop on, let me know where you're hopping on from. Let me know what you're up to today. Do you have fun plans this weekend? I do not have fun plans this weekend. I have plans to do plans. So that might actually be fun. I always think I have plans to do nothing and then find out we have like 20,000 things we have to do. And then I'm disappointed. The introvert in me wants to stay home and not do anything. Although I'm like, my husband's a major introvert, but I'm kind of like an ambivert. I can be either. I can like be excited to be out, but I can also like desperately want to be home. Okay. Almost done. And then we will get started and I'm super excited. This is going to be fun. As I pull my kids' beds apart and you see how messy they really are. <laughs> Why won't it let me? Uh oh. Oh man. Facebook hates me all the time. <laughs> It looks good. Hi, Diane. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why my my phone made a made a weird sound. Okay, there we go. The scrolly bar finally appeared, so we can get going. Ah, I know why that my phone is making a weird noise. It's Marco Polo. Hang on. Let's see if we can. Get rid of the Marco Polo-ness. Okay. There we go. I love Marco Polo, but it's a little overwhelming sometimes. Okay. So the very first thing we are going to do is we're going to talk beds. We're going to strip my kids' beds down. Like I said, I didn't make their beds this morning. I wanted you to see real life. Like, this is what, like, their beds look like usually. Which is super frustrating to me. I really hate this. Like... Um, I am a make your bed every day kind of person, and I know that's not practical for everyone. Um, that's just like how I grew up, and so that's how I like it. So I've tried really hard to get my kids to make their beds every day, and there's just like too much going on in the morning. Like my, I have a nine-year-old and a three-year-old, and so the three-year-old's home with me, 
But the nine-year-old, like, there's just too much going on before she has to, I mean, she has to make a lunch, like, all that stuff. Like, there's just too much going on before school. So she always, like, um, sometimes I'll, like, really crack down during um, the summer and try and get her to make her bed, but it doesn't always work. And that's super frustrating to me because I just, I mean, I feel like making your bed is what makes the room look clean. So you can see here, um, so my youngest daughter, this is, this is, so this is their bunk bed. My youngest daughter's mattress is on the floor, um, which we've actually really super loved, um, to have a bunk bed like this. Um, but you can see her mattress is really deep. And so let's see, her sheets are all the way over here. They don't ever stay on a full night in her bed. And that's frustrating because then she, oh great, sucker on a pillow. See, told you real life. Um, her sheets don't ever stay all the way on her bed all night. And that's frustrating because sometimes they'll wake her up. If they flip off her bed, um, then they'll wake her up. So I'm hopefully this will fix what we're going to do today. We'll fix our problem here too. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip her bed down. Strip it from the, so this is just a regular blanket, some stuffed animals, pink, and these stinking sheets that won't stay on. Hey, lovey, you gonna come help me? We're gonna pull your sheets off. Actually, you know what you could do? What? <laughs> you could climb in there and hand me some of your toys, your stuffed animals. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Haley. This is my three-year-old. Hello. Say hello. Okay, hello. Okay, give me the toys. Here. You're not listening very well. Can you give me the toys? <gasps> there we go. Now we're listening. Give me Coraline. Okay, guys, you have to see this cute, like, how freaking cute is this doll? My friend made it for her for Christmas, and I just love it. This one's obsessed with Coraline, so. A doll. Anna. Get me girl. Hey, hey. Uh oh, did Hey, hey get stuck? Yeah. Ding, Hey, hey. He's, he's a goober. He's a goober. There's our crazy chicken. Okay, there's your baby blankie. And a book. And a lantern. Okay, climb out. You can help me again in a minute. This Come. is my. Did you write me a note? Yeah. Oh, so sweet. Is, Can you have me one of the new beddings? Is this is for me? Uh-huh. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about today, this is new to us. We haven't tried this before, but I'm super excited. I've seen videos of this, and, like, um, I they look unbelievably cool. So these are, and um, this is what we're going to put on my kids' beds today, and we're going to kind of talk about these a little bit. So these are called beddies. You want to bring me another one, too? Yeah, this is for Sophie. This is Sophie's bed. I'll put it right here. Thank you, Munchkin. Okay. Um, so this is called Betty. So this is basically a bed in a bag. And the cool thing about it is everything, the thing that's supposed to be super cool about it is everything goes on like a sheet. Um, and then you can zip the bed to make it. So um, I, so I'm probably, I'm, we're going to put these on the bed. I'll probably have to steam them after we put them on the bed, but I'll do that later. So this is the whole bed set. So everything <laughs> is supposed to be one piece except the pillowcases obviously are a different piece. So it goes on, so you can see the sheet <laughs> and the blanket are actually sewn together. <laughs> okay, random cool thing about, um, random cool thing about these, um, these beds is that since you know, you'll know where the top is, which is awesome. <laughs> Okay, and then they have these, you know, I love the minky. They have these really soft minky inside of them. And then this awesome, like, industrial zipper. So the kid can just unzip their bed, climb in with this super soft minky in there so that they have kind of a comfy blankie. And the, and the minky is a little bit bigger than the bed so that they'll be able to um, be nice and comfy. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the bed. I'm not going to make you guys wait while I steam it. So, all right, we'll see. <laughs> so, um, this is supposed to be, supposed to, I'll have to, like, check back in with you guys because these are supposed to be awesome about um, staying on a deep 
si a deep mattress. Like my like I was talking about, my daughter has a really deep mattress. Ah! Okay, stop. She's. I've made this pile of blankets to the side here, and she's like cannonballing into the blankets. Okay, she's crazy. Um, so Stacy says her sisters, her sisters has these, and they absolutely love them. You know what, Debbie? I am a lazy mom. Everyone is a lazy mom. We all have things that we all have. You know what? We're all busy. We all have things that we need to find solutions for. And so this is one of mine, and I'm going to show you some. Stop yelling. We're, I'm going to show you some of my other ones too. And you can't tell me that you've never, you've never found a way to make your life easier because it's just yeah, silly. Okay, stop yelling. It's just silly to not make your life easier if you can. That's my philosophy. So everything's going on the bed like a sheet, like it all fits like a fitted sheet. So and it really is going underneath the mattress, which I'm impressed by because it's a oh. mattress. Okay. And the biggest thing, so my frustration with the, the bed down here is that my daughter's three, and so it's hard for her to tuck the corners in. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're three. It's hard for her to tuck the corners in and everything. So that's why I'm really excited about this for her. But I'm also really excited about it for my nine-year-old, who is a lot, she is pretty good at making a bed. Um, okay, move please. Sorry, she's a little crazy today. Mom, she's pretty good for her life. Um, my my older daughter is actually really good at making her bed, but since she's on a bunk bed, it takes her a little bit of time, and so that a lot of times I don't make her do it before school. So I'm excited that this is something that she can easily do before school. So, and obviously you can tell, I just pulled it out of the bag. It definitely needs to be steamed, which I will do later. Okay, let's put this on. Here, this is you're a lizard? No, Mom. I said I got a letter. Oh, she's got a letter. What? Like, hoping I'm not splashing you guys a plumber crack. I want to show there's something. Okay. Okay. So, number one, I, I mean, they haven't slept on it show. even once yet because I just pulled it out of the bag. Mm -hmm. But number one, what I'm impressed with is it's going all the way over the deep mattress. So, that's awesome. So, you can see everything kind of fits on. Just like a, like a sheet. So I'm having trouble getting it all the way over the edge. Over here. And try again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna push this mattress back in, and then we're gonna kind of look at it a little bit more. Guys, I can't even tell you how excited I am for these. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. You do. It's comfy. It's comfy. How oh, good. I'm glad it's comfy. So, like I said, the zipper's right here. So when we want to fit into bed, they just unzip, climb in bed, and then they have this nice soft minky on the inside. And then when they're ready to make the bed, all they do is fold it over and zip it up. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Are you excited about it? Here is my Nemo soap. Penny, I know you can see them on the computer, but they're actually right there. They're on my phone. Here is a Nemo soap. Okay. She's trying to talk to you guys through the computer. So, Tina, um, I'm not, I, I, this they are a little bit pricey. Um, um, but, like I said, this is a thing that I have been, like, looking for and waiting for forever because be I'm really just right. over the, I'm over the sheets coming off. I'm over the beds not being made. So, um, I do think they have a $50 off promo going right now. If you go, if you look in the description, you can see a link to their site. That's not an affiliate link. I don't make anything if you go look at that. Um, but if you go look at their site, um, you can kind of see the prices. See that they have a really pretty white set. I went with the pink blush for my kids. Um, but they have some really pretty sets. So, oh, I like the pink pillowcase. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pillows in for her bed. What uh, Lenora wants to know what they're called again. They're called Bettys. 
Like, uh, B-E-D-D-Y-S, Betty's. So, and then they come with the cute pillowcases and the shams. Mom, can I? Can you what? <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I'm so glad you like it. I'm really glad you like it. Oh, I get the comfy pillow. Yeah, I'm going to give you another comfy pillow just a second. So let me scroll back. I think as I was putting it on, I might have missed some of your... Tina says she has a 15-year-old that hates making her bed, and this would be great. Hi! <laughs> She's a little energetic. You know what? I, like, I don't think I ever liked making my bed until I was an adult. And I just like, I don't really like it, but I like it because it makes my room look clean. It makes, you know, it makes me feel like I accomplished something first thing in the morning. So that's why I like it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Cute bed. What do you think, girlfriend? Yes. Good. I'm going to try it out. You're going to try it out? It's comfy. <laughs> it's comfy and I think. Oh, Melissa okay. says both of her teens have them, bought them last year at Christmas. Melissa, what do you think? Are you guys liking them? I want to. I want you to say yes because I'm really excited about these. Mom, can I try this on when I lay it down? Uh-huh. They sent these cute little masks with the beds. on the floor because that's where she prefers it yeah we actually looked at a lot of bunk beds so this is actually a junior loft bed with the mattress on the floor underneath it we looked at a lot of bunk beds and she um we switched her when she was two and she was just so nervous in the higher beds so this is what we went with and it's worked really really well i'm sure when they get a little bit bigger we'll go ahead and upgrade to a little bit higher bunk bed but <laughs> Melissa says her son's mattress is on the floor because he's broken two bed frames and he ref she refuses to buy a new one. You are my kind of mom. I'm like, I'm done. The only thing, like when I was a kid, I broke glasses like they were going out of style. And my mom was like, you know what? I, I would not buy you new glasses if you didn't need them to see. Okay, so I'm going to top you up to the top bunk here. We're going to see what it's like putting it on a top bunk. Um... So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to strip her bed. This is my blanket kid. She's got like, you're going to see, I'm going to pull off like 20 blankets off this bed. Look at her cute unicorn blanket though. I love it so much. They love these blankets. Okay. Unicorn. She is, so I also want to talk about, um, how easy these are to wash like you're gonna see that there there's actually a couple of stains on my daughter's sheets which is good that we're getting her new ones because she tends to get bloody noses in the middle of the night oh found her secret stash should we see what Sophie keeps in her secret stash I see a Barbie a puff ball a flashlight and some candy and her girl Okay, she's also really good about putting her um, pajamas that she wore the night before up here so that she can, Oh, dang it, got all the way through the mattress that time. Okay, so I'm also, my kids love to keep books in their bed and I'm also going to talk about that. That's something I want to fix today too. Dude, the amount of stuff that is on the floor just from their beds is a little ridiculous. water bottle for me? Sir, because you can't reach it? No, I'm going to have to get up there to put the bedding on, but do you want help? Ready? Yeah. Where is it? Right there. Good helper. I will climb down by myself. So 
I keep water bottles in my kids' bed. I don't know if that's something that you would do. Mommy, I'm um, scared. You are? Don't be scared. I, I'm scared of you. Oh, okay. Good. I'm glad. Um, I keep water bottles in both of my kids' beds because, um, I don't know, you know, if you've experienced the getting out of bed ten times for a glass of water thing. Um, that is real life in our house, so in order to stop that, we started keeping a water bottle in each of our kids' bed, and it's really helped. We fill them up before bed, and then they have a nice water bottle. They have a lot. Of, they have all the water that they need. So, Maureen says, smart parenting is spending your energy where you care about. I'm Call it lazy if you want, but there's no reason the mom spends all day cleaning up with their kids when things can be easier. That is like my philosophy on life. Like, I want to spend my energy on things I care about. I don't want to spend my energy making my kids' bed or cleaning up their toys. I'd rather spend my energy taking them to do things and, you know, stuff like that. So, exactly. Call it lazy if you want. <laughs> Tammy says she loves the idea of starting a toddler newly out of their crib on the floor. I love it. Best thing we ever did was stick her on the floor. So, um, that way, I mean, I, she's honestly, I'll be honest, she's never fallen out of bed. But if she did, she wouldn't have that far to go. Um, so, let's go ahead and make this bed. And then we'll move on and I'll, I'll show you. You're going to get down? No. I'll move on and we'll kind of show you some of the other stuff that we do to keep our sanity in our house. So, one of our big ones, like I said before, is we keep a water bottle in the kids' bed. That way they can't, they won't get out of bed a million times. So, um, you can see it's just going to all go on like a fitted sheet here. <laughs> if I'm smarter than the mattress. Mom, look at this owie. What? Oh, look at this owl. Well, you got an owl? You don't know. Sweetie. Oh, you did get a little bit of an owl. Are you okay? I need to be on it. Okay. Can you go ask Grandma for one? Okay. Thank you. Wait. Mom, well, there's what? a bandage in the bandage box. Well, if you can find the bandage box, then you can move it. Okay. So... So we keep, and our kids also, um, we have a rule that if they get to bed on time, then they can read for a little bit. And so they keep books in their bed. Um, they're probably not going to put them on the wall while we're doing this, just because it would take a lot of time. Wow, that really goes under the, I love how much it goes under the mattress, so I know it's not going to pull off. Because that would be really uncomfortable to have your, so these are machine washable. You just throw them in the washing machine. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. I'm unbelievably happy with these. Okay. Okay. I might make her get up there and do the other corner when she gets home so I don't have to show you guys my booty as I tuck that in. Okay. Are any of the beddies 100% cotton? I believe so. I believe they have, like I showed you before, so when you unzip them, they've got this minky to help keep you warm that's sewn into the top. Um, I believe they have some that are just cotton. So, they even do look pretty good right out of the bag. Definitely need a little steam, but that's awesome. Um, Okay, so we've talked a little bit about, okay, just making sure I didn't miss anyone's comments. Jennifer, so these are Betty's. They go, they the whole comforter sheet, everything fits on your bed like a fitted sheet so that um, to make the bed, all you have to do is zip it up. So I'm super excited about that. Now you guys are going to see, like, look how much stuff I just pulled out of their beds, guys. Move you this way. You know what, Melissa? They do have king size. Isn't that awesome? See, that was all in their beds. This room was completely cleaned before I pulled their beds apart. Oh dear. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. 
as we talk and then I'm going to show you the next awesome thing that I love so much. So the next thing, I don't know if you guys have seen those toy bean bags where they can put stuffed animals in them. I saw a Facebook ad, I think, for one of those and was like, this is perfect. This is what I need in my life. This will be amazing. My husband was kind of like, I don't think it will work. I don't think, you know, the kids won't want to sit on it. It won't be soft. And I was like, let's just try it. If we hate it, we can take it back. So we went ahead and we tried it. And it has been life changing, guys. That makes their room so much cleaner. I didn't realize how much of a mess their um, stuffed animals were making. And like, so now they each keep out a handful of stuffed animals that they love. I picked a unicorn one. You picked a unicorn? You got it on there all by yourself? I'm so proud of you. I found it. You did? We are getting rid of these comforters, which I'm so excited about. No more messy comforters and sheets in our house. Okay, let me show you this bean bag because it's amazing. Okay, let me toss couple of these sheets out. That's going to be the real test if these stay on. So I will update you. Okay, I'm going to toss all this stuff to the side so we can figure out how to get it back in their beds. As we talk about this, let me move it so you guys can I see. I got a little alley. I, I can't bear it right now. So this is the bean bag. We use this for all their stuffed animals. Okay, go jump on the bean bag. Where? Right there. Our big bean bag. Go jump on it. Okay. <laughs> so it is pretty, it is stuffed pretty full, ours is. So let me show you. So you've probably seen these commercials on Facebook. They were kind of everywhere for a while. I totally got sucked in. Okay. So inside. Sophie's bed ready? Yeah, I, I still got to do the pillows and stuff on Sophie's bed, but I wanted to move on and let them see other things. <laughs> so you can see all. Can you see all of those stuffed <laughs> animals in there? I will help you, okay? Okay. <coughs> uh oh, Mom. So. This seriously, it probably has more than a hundred stuffed animals in it. <coughs> and I absolutely love this. It has been a lifesaver. Life My kids love that I didn't get rid of their stuffed animals. That they're still around, that they can play with them, they can open it and play with them whenever they want, and then it's easy for them to put them away. That's what I love. So I don't know if these have a specific theme. I linked to them up in the description if you want to be able to see um, the bags. But then they have a nice handle on them so you can kind of flip them around. They do get a little hard in spots if you have, oh, there's something squeaking in there. If you have um, hard toys in there. So I try not to put the dolls and that kind of stuff in there because then it's actually comfortable and they like to sit on it and read. Right to me. I'm watching. You're not doing anything. Oh. <laughs> I, so I try and not put the dolls okay. in there. Sometimes they do anyway. I try and get them in the Mom, middle. Watch but this. you can see that it's pretty. It's still pretty comfy. Don't jump on your sister's bed. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. So it's. I mean, it's pretty cushy. I'm um, pretty comfy. And um, there's a tickle me Elmo in there. So if you hit it just right, Elmo will laugh. I don't know where he is though. No. He's in there somewhere. Every now and then they'll jump on it and Elmo will start laughing. So now I'm going to talk to you about the next thing. This is something I made actually from an old dresser. Um, so we're going to come around to here. I'm going to scoot you guys back so you guys can see. So this is this is our dress up 
um, closet. And this has been really awesome for my kids. It's a place, so I made it from an old dresser. It was an old, pretty sturdy dresser. So I took all the drawers out and took all the hardware out of it. And then... Oh, twinkle. twinkle stars everywhere, Mom. Huh? Debbie, I don't understand what you're saying, but I would then, then out what you have, clean out what you have. My um, All of our stuffed animals go through the wash about once a week, so I'm really not worried about it. Everywhere. They're all pretty clean. My husband is actually, my husband is a germaphobe, like full on, like diagnosed germaphobe, which sometimes is a little bit of a hassle, but it also means that our stuff is really clean in our house, which is good. Um, okay. You're being so noisy today. No, I'm not. No, you're not? Okay, so this is this is our our dress up closet. So I made it out of a dresser. I took all of the the drawers out, and then I screwed a bar in at the top towards the front of the dresser. And now they have a spot where all of their dress ups can hang. So this helps keep our dress ups off the floor, which I love. And um, so we always have a rule that they have to. Put one dress up away before they can, you know, put the dress up they're wearing away before they can get another one out, which has actually really worked well for us. Um, so that's been awesome. I love that. And um, I will show you the next thing now. So the next thing, I made these with my Cricut. Uh, there is a link to how to make them. So if you need to see how to make them, then you can figure out how to make them for yourself. So this is the one place where I like, I don't police this. They keep, they're allowed to keep kind of whatever they want in their dresser, so it's always a mess. But let me show you these. I know, Danielle, people are way mean. You kind of just get over it. So these are, um, these are dresser stickers. So I made these with the intent that I wanted I made these with the intent that I wanted my daughter to be able to put away her own clothes. That um, she was little, she's three, but I wanted her to be able to start picking, putting her own laundry away. So um, labeling them with words wouldn't work because she can't read. So we went with stickers. So these have pink glitter stickers on them that show you where each of the items go. So there's a drawer for underwear and pants and shirts and jammies. And then there's also one for headbands in our house. So, those they're really, really easy to make. So, if you want to make them, I linked to my tutorial on how to make them. So, I mean, you could probably even, if you wanted to, um, cut them out of just paper and then Mod Podge them onto a dresser if you wanted to. So, the next thing I want to show you, I haven't opened their closet today. So, hopefully, I'm not opening a big can of worms here. Let me take you guys up. open up their closet so this side is they have a nice big closet so this side is our toy side which thankfully is clean so if you see up here all of the buckets um, some of them might be backwards but all of them are labeled so some of them are labeled with pictures like you can see there's hey, that's my tea yeah can you give me my tea I knew opening the closet you were gonna want stuff out of it huh <laughs> Um, I see the cookies. I don't see the rest. Can you well, hop out? These are pancakes. Oh, they're pancakes. Sorry. Could Excuse me. The cookies? So you can see that some of them, so there's labeled with train, there's cars in here. Some of them are labeled with labels. Well, can you like, find the drinks and the cookies? So like Polly Pockets um, and stuff. Some of them are backwards. My kids put them back into the things backwards. But each, each Thing that they love to play with has its own bucket and this makes it really easy to keep things clean because they're only a lot of them they can't reach by themselves which is good great for me because then I can always say you need to make sure you have everything else cleaned up before I get you a new bucket so you can see this laundry basket has food toys in it and there's a basket I don't know if I can there's a basket underneath on a shelf that has Barbies in it and then 
we've got doll clothes and blocks and magnets and everything so that's all stored in this side of the closet so they have one long closet so everything all toys are over here and then all clothes are on the other side so that's really helped us keep things neat and everything and then we have I had one of those baskets those laundry baskets in our in the room that was like foldable that was collapsible and they started using it as a toy okay and so I went and found a hard-sided basket okay move out of the way lovey a hard-sided basket find the cookies in the drink there's a cookie there's one cookie I made two. one more cookie there's a lemon um, there's another lemon. Um, that's all I can find right now, lemon. Mommy, I need Oh, the... right there. Oh, that's oh. Okay, go play. Do her. She has this felt tea set that she loves. As I've made things skyrocket out of the closet. So. Um, so then here, um, I found that the best thing for our, my kids is a hard sided basket. Um, cause inevitably they're going to climb in it and they're going to play in it. And the best thing, um, that I found is just one that they can't break so easily. So, you know what? One thing I need help with, if you guys have any ideas, you see this right here, that's all slime. I don't know how to, a better way to store my kids slime. It drives me nuts. Okay, so now we've got over, so over here, I'm going to take you over to my shelves. I don't know if you guys have a lot of books like we do, um, but I discovered the best thing for us was just to get another shelf. Um, I also have a crate here where we've put books that they like to read often. So that's worked really well for us. Um, yeah, do you guys have any questions? So um, I can kind of do a brief overview again. Sorry, the middle of the floor is messy because I pulled everything off their beds. So we've got the Bettys here. That zip, the zip to be made, which are awesome. Like, look how good that looks with the beds made. I love that. So I'm going to have to go through here and kind of, you can see all this. This was everything that was in their bed. Their beds. Lots of blankets. Lots of stuff like that. So I'm going to have to go through and kind of pare that down a little bit. Um, I try, I, you know, I try and do the whole like less is more um, thing. It doesn't always work. So, oh, let me show you my solution over here for their room. Mommy, you found my tea party. I did find your tea party. So this is, like I said, I did not clean up their room before we did this. I wanted you guys to see real life. So this is where I do bows. So the bow hangers are all, they have something wooden on the top to kind of secure them. And then it's just ribbon and you can clip those bows all onto that. And then here, this is for my older daughter. She has her ears pierced. So she's got a little frame that has like um, mesh in it so that she can put her earrings on there and then some necklaces. And then she, for shoes, we do the back of the door here with the hanger. And that's also worked really, really well for us. So... Yep, bows, earrings, and then we kind of have like little people paradise down here with all these princesses. These are not. I tried. Hard cookies. These are donuts. Oh, donuts! I love donuts. Donuts. Um, so I've tried to like put these away, and it doesn't work. They they pull. I mean, this is something they play with every single day. These little people. Um. So I've discovered the best thing for us is to just leave the bigger pieces out and then I have a basket that has all of the little pieces in it. And that's worked really well for us. So I think that's pretty much all the organization they have in their room. I can show you some of the cute design elements if you want. Um, so you can see their room is paper crane themed, which I love. Um, my youngest daughter is named after my best friend from my childhood who, who passed away right when I was pregnant with her. And so that was really rough on me, but she, um, something that she wanted at her funeral was a thousand paper cranes because she'd wanted them at her wedding and it just hadn't worked out. So, um, after she passed away and I named my daughter after her, we did a paper crane theme room, which was really, really fun. So you can see, this is a quilt that my awesome mother-in-law embroidered for me with paper cranes all over it. And then you can see we've got different paper crane books. Um, hanging in the room 
And then you can see this is a paper crane mobile. And then we've got this drawing. And then over here is some of my favorite with the embroidered paper crane and then the paper crane bracelets that we wore to my daughter's christening. So, yep. So that's all of our organization, all of our um, kind of the design elements. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you don't have any questions for me um, about any of the way we organize anything, um, I will let you guys go. So thanks and have a good day.